I'm back. Uh, I hope you were surprised. Welcome to episode two of uh, this guy, Fire Elementalist. I'm so excited to play this character. Um, you know, mostly because Fire Elementalist is still awesome. We had a really great run last time. I know I was a bit mad, but today, you know what? Today is a better day. Uh, there's no noise, apart from me. Uh, just finished my exam, which was kind of stressing me out for the last couple of days. Uh, I didn't do so well, but, you know, who really does in an exam? It's an exam. Uh, Sonya, um, yeah, she goes down pretty easy. Even though she has a distortion short blade, she can't get in range to get me. So, you know, nothing that... Wait, did I just make a... Hmm. How lewd. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, I'm just going to be using Sticky Flame most of the time. Uh, if there's a big pack, I'll probably engage with Fireball. And then whatever's left over, I can probably Flame Tongue to death. That's my strategy so far. It might change over the course of this um, episode, but, you know, I doubt it. So we're at 37 minutes. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get a nice, well-done episode. I say well done because we're going to be cooking these monsters. Eh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that was bad. I I was lying. I don't, I'm not sorry at all, actually. Uh, yay, we're about to die. Okay, so ogres have really high health, but sadly the rest of the defenses are pretty poor. So, you know, dealing with this is going to be kind of tough. Um, especially Hydras and enemies like that. I can't let them get a single turn in melee with me. Or else they'll kill me. Alright, cool. Killing some frogs. Excellent! So these are Okla plants. Now, normally I wouldn't deal with them, but because I'm with the Hoomit... Oh, wait, no, I can't. I have to actually stand in range. I can just kind of pelt them... Oops, that was a misfire. I can kind of pelt them at range with my fireball, and I can just get some free experience. Uh, I, I usually wouldn't engage Okla, um plants, but I feel kind of safe knowing that I can back off within a turn, like this. So, you know, it's not <clears throat> as dangerous as usual. Uh, okay. This Oclob, however, is doing a lot of damage. That's kind of scary. Uh, oddly enough, I didn't get corroded very badly there. I was just, uh, you know, damaged. So again, Fireball is good. I haven't really discussed what Fireball is. Fireball is like a... I think it can't miss. It's a fire-based conjuration that deals a ball of fire. And the cool thing about it is that it's not a bolt spell, so it can kind of shoot through enemies. Not really shoot through, but it can shoot around enemies, sort of. It has weird aiming mechanics. You'll, you get used to it if you play uh, hopefully this Hydra... Oh, cool. I can kill the Hydras before they get to me, which is nice. Um, cool thing about it is that, well, one, I don't think it can miss. Uh, I think it can be resisted, though. I'm not sure. And the cool thing about it is that it hits in a very almost unique way, I guess. No other spell really hits like this. It hits in a nine-tile square, but it can be stopped by bodies. So you can't shoot in the middle of a pack unless they have an opening for you to shoot through. Uh, you'll see it later, I guess. This is Lair. Hopefully you will see it. The only issue that I have with it is that it's incredibly loud. Uh, I think it is louder than shouting, so, you know, I am going to be waking up most of this floor. There's going to be no stealth involved here. Oh, uh, cool thing about sheep is that if you sticky flame one of them, they actually catch fire, and then all the other sheep around them also catch fire. So I just, I just use one sticky flame there, and then I killed the whole pack. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, Sticky Flame, Kiting, very powerful, again. I think I did that a lot last time. So here you can see, I can aim here to kill this front yak, but I can also aim down here to kill these three. So I'll do that. Basically, you want to, like, the first couple of times you play with uh, Fireball, you just kind of want to feel out how to shoot with it. You always want to look at which position is best, and after a while, I guess it, comes a, it becomes a little bit, you know, second nature. You don't need to think too hard about it. You, you just know that they're going to be a good one. So, for example, I could shoot here or I could shoot here. I'll probably shoot here in case there's two tiles. There's two tiles down here that I don't know what there are. I want to <clears throat> shoot there. It didn't do anything this time, but here I can shoot at uh, 
four rats. That's pretty good. Usually I try to go for about three per fireball, three enemies caught in a fireball. Uh, that's that's I consider that to be good value for your mana because you know with the Hermit you get to shoot more if you kill more stuff. So you know getting three like that is pretty nice. Uh, I have had rare instances of like eight, eight in a fireball, and that just feels well, feels awesome. You if you get kills on all of them, you get like a ton of mana back. It's really cool. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, continuing on. We're at layer 4 already. This is turning out to be a quick video. Not quite quick because, uh, you know, I'll just do more stuff, but... Okay, uh, that's a 5-headed Hydra. I think I can just tank one hit from it, so I'm going to Sticky Flame it, which is good. It dies. Ooh, so here we go. I can maybe get into a good position and get a lot of things in the fireball. Uh, I'm aiming to get... Again, I'm aiming to get <clears throat> 3. If I can get a good 5 like that, that's really nice. Obviously not necessary. I'm going to shoot at that bush because I can know I can turn into a burning bush. It doesn't do much more, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. Uh, let's start Sticky Flaming. I want to start applying the damage over time before I have to run away. That will make my running away a bit more efficient. <clears throat> going to pull up the stairs again. Uh, I need to kill something to get out of the way. And I made the yak step into the teleport trap so it wouldn't have to fight me. I probably won't see it again. If, it, if I do, I'll just kill it. It's not hard 1v1. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, so far this character has been dealing with the Lair of Beasts quite easily. There's not been really any difficult challenge yet, uh, and I hope there wouldn't be. It would really suck if there was. Uh, what's this scroll? It's a scroll of summoning. I don't know. Okay, cool, thanks. Uh, my throat's a little stuck, I apologize. Uh, last episode I was... Clearing my throat endlessly and was annoying. Uh, I do watch my own stuff because, you know, I want to make sure it's not terrible, but I was really annoyed at myself. So, you know, if you got annoyed, just know I did too. I was also kind of sad that I was that angry. Not not angry, I guess. Yeah, angry. But I'm, I'm like that sometimes. Just mostly when I'm trying to do stuff and then it doesn't work out, I get a bit annoyed. But fair enough. That's I guess everyone goes through that. Alright, so again I'm just trying to position myself so I get a nice fireball. Um yeah, trying to get trying to get as many enemies in as in as I can. I don't really want to be fireballing just one enemy at a time. It's pretty inefficient in terms of mana. And remember what I said if you remember what I said last episode or part, if you're being inefficient with your mana, it's the same as being inefficient with your health. Because you treat health like mana. Ooh, that was Pretty crap. Okay, I'm gonna blink out, <clears throat> and I'm gonna fireball again, and I managed to kill him this time, which is good. Uh, let's sticky flame. Sticky flame doesn't do anything to this guy apparently. So, uh, conjure flame. Nope. Um, I don't think he's faster than me, so I can just kind of sit back and regenerate my honor before I shoot at him again. And I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do just that. He's 10 speed, so I don't think he can. Yeah, he couldn't get any hits on me to slow me, which means that I could just, you know, walk around. Uh, yeah, Fireball also works through, like, walls. Not, not walls, but, like, terrain, which is quite nice. It coils around, I guess. So even if even if your Fireball should be blocked by walls, it'll still hit the corners. So, yeah, you can use it for that, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to ID my... my hmm... I'm just IDing all my rings and stuff, just because I want to see if there's anything good. There isn't really. <clears throat> um, let's ID the potions. They're not good either. Oh, they're okay, I guess. Uh, again, you're going to shoot for the two fireballs. Sticky flame if they come close. Just basically getting as much value out of the fireball as I can. Yep, easy. So these, and now I have 150 health almost, so you can kind of see the power of an ogre. Uh, once I got that mid-game coming up, uh, once I finished up with that mid-game, I got a lot. Oh, that guy can shoot a bolt of coal, let me kill him quick. Okay, I should have taken the ring of fire off, but, you know, I was kind of lazy. Uh, let's see, this simulacra. Okay, I can move like this, and I can fireball like this. Then I can use conjure flame. And because they're undead, they'll walk into it like idiots. 
So, oh man, okay, I need to take this ring of fire off because that nearly killed me. Uh, I think that's slower than me, right? Yeah, it is good. <clears throat> so yeah, don't try to engage enemies with rings of fire on when you don't have any resist cult. You'll end up being dead like me. Uh, that was really scary. It did like 60 HP in one hit. Uh, that was there was an optimal time there for a fireball, but I missed it because I was playing too much, too quickly. Uh, I need to kind of kind of try to get around a corner so I can fireball like this. It's not optimal, but flame tongue probably wouldn't have taken it out. Ooh, can I get some four four yaks in a fireball? That's all right. I dig. Uh, let's try to get three. Uh, let's. I can wrap it around like this. Get two. I'm starving apparently. I should eat something. I did. Okay, good. And I'm now just gonna. Now I'm just gonna back off and you know kill these guys. So yeah, Sticky Flame is working pretty well to trivialize most uh, melee threats. I don't have to really tank them. I can just let them die. I haven't even used Stone Arrow yet, and that kind of shows that I don't need anything now. The Ring of Fire is doing more than enough damage. It's giving me more than enough to kill every enemy in here. Uh, this is kind of scary because the Basilisk is there. I'm going to just keep firing my fireballs and hopefully... Okay, he's blocking the stairs. That's way too dangerous. Okay, yeah. So stair... May always make sure your staircases are open. Don't get in a situation where you have to kill something to get in a staircase. So I, I knew immediately the second my staircase was blocked off, even for a turn, I wouldn't want it to be. So, you know, I had to make that decision to... Oh, where'd that go? I have to keep making decisions as to whether I want to fight or retreat. It's kind of, you just constantly have to be doing that. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to pull up. I'm just going to keep Sticky Flaming. Sticky Flame is doing a lot of damage. It's good. It takes care of Blink Frogs especially well because they blink away and they get burned. Uh, and you don't have to fight them at all. Which is good. Alright, is there another entering? Cool. Can I... Plus three ring of int. Um, that's kind of actually good. I, I might use that rather than the ring of fire. And the reason is because um, four pips off. So I'm looking at fireball right now. It's four off its max. If I put the ring of intelligence off, it's still four off its max. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep the other uh, the int on. Because it's not affecting my spell power, it's still as good as it was. And I'm also getting the extra RC that I was missing before. Like, well, I don't have the RC malice anymore. RC minus, so... You know, that's good. And also, I get less spell hunger, which is also nice. So, really, it's win-win. I don't really... Yeah, I don't really have any downsides for that. Obviously, if my firepower was better with the Ring of Fire, I would think about it, but, you know, in this case, nothing changed, so there's no real point in saying I should use the Fire Ring, it's just risking unnecessary death. Um, okay, let's just keep Sticky Flaming. Make sure that everything has got Sticky Flame on it, and then just back off. Uh, I guess it does sound kind of silly to be doing that constantly, it sounds a bit tedious, but it's not really. You're, you're walking back in a straight line and you're watching him die, it's the same as pressing tab at the end of the day. So, you know, if you don't like pressing tab, well, there you go. I don't know why you're playing this game. Because tab is tab is life in this game. Uh, yeah, that fire drake did a lot of damage. Maybe I should have put the ring of fire on, but I didn't think I was going to die to it. Uh, fire drake can do about maybe 30 damage per turn, so I didn't feel like I was in any danger. Uh, if it can do more, I doubt it's a lot more. It's probably just the same. Uh, Ring of Frost, uh, sorry, uh, Nova of Frost, or whatever it's called. Um, I need to think a little bit harder about this one. Also, I need to get rid of this enemy right here. So it's up to the north. I'm going to go head up there. I don't know if I am going to get anything good because, you know, I don't have any resist coal. But I do have fire, and fire is really good against coal. I got robust on this character. Holy crap, so now I have 170 health, uh, so that Vine Stalker that I had before, I probably have more health in him already. I'm in Lair. I just started this game. So this character is pretty incredible right now. Uh, I'm going to be putting Steve Flame up, 
I'm gonna try to fireball, fireball, fire ball. No, I don't have mana for it now. Uh, I guess I'll try to paralyze it. Okay, I'll just sticky flame it, and then I'll walk away. I'll walk away. And I'll let my mana regen, and I'll kill it eventually. Man, this is not working for me. Okay, I'm gonna actually just leg it into this ice cave and see if I can kind of stealth out. I can't. That kind of sucks. Um, let's see. What can I drink to make myself more more powerful? I guess. Hmm. Well, I think the first thing I need to do is put this mace of protection on. That's going to give me more AC for a little while. That's going to let me ride out this fight. Uh, the hand axe of freezing, while good, is not going to really do too much in this in this place. Uh, sticky flame, though, is going to work wonders on it. Uh, okay, so this looks like some kind of gauntlet style one, uh, where there's just a lot of enemies. It's okay though. Uh, ow, that hurt. I want to walk up to it and sticky flame it, but I don't want to take too much damage. Like, they have the ability to throw at least two bolts of cold at me uh, per turn, so, you know, gotta be a little bit cautious <clears throat> with the way I do things. You use sticky flame to just kill the ice beast. Uh, everything in here is, I think, vulnerable to fire, so, you know. That'd be good for me. Uh, fireball is doing wonders. Actually, you know what? The Hoomit gave me Delayed Fireball, which is really great. Delayed Fireball only costs two spell levels if uh, you have Fireball memorized. And because it's a permanent, uh, kind of semi permanent buff, I might as well cast it. Like, even if I do, even if I do miscast it, that's no big deal. I can just wait out the contamination and then cast it. Book of Enchantments gives me access to Haste. Book of Beasts is okay. Uh, Tomb of the Rocks. What does that do? Nothing really that great. Okay, it's fine. So this this was not very. This is not the greatest. Um, ooh, I'm in a bit of a tight spot here. That wasn't the greatest. Uh, what do you call it? Ice cave. I was kind of hoping for a bit of ice resistance, so that I could use my firing. But you know, you can't get them all. Uh, I can't shoot that guy. I'm gonna put the ring of fire on, and then I'm gonna shoot stone arrows at it. Stone arrows, yeah, stone arrows is going to be good against enemies that resist fire completely, like that fire crab. But apart from that, I don't think it's too incredible. Uh, I actually have half a mind to just, you know, use the flail of protection. It gives me more armor, which is what this character really kind of needs. Uh, I am starting to feel a bit more comfortable about my spells, though, so I may start turning off one or two training, one or two of the spells. Uh, I haven't really decided which one yet. I clearly do want fire um, up and running. I don't know if I want conjurations up that much. Uh, I do, but I'm just not sure which one I want to like stop training for now. I will train all of them eventually. Obviously, I don't want to cut any of it, but at some point, I will have to... Oh, man, okay. Oh, I didn't really discuss this delayed fireball that much, did I? Apart from the fact that it costs two mana. So delayed fireball, what it does is you charge a fireball, and then you can instantly, without any words, hunger, whatever, release it uh, on command. So it works as an instant fireball. It's pretty nice because it gives you an, uh, like a panic button nuke. Like sometimes when you're just running out of mana, you can you have that one last fireball. Uh, I don't use it very often, but you know if you if I do need it, I'll be glad I saved that I spent the two points to get it. Interesting thing about delayed fireball is that you can actually memorize it, cast it, and then unmemorize it, and you still keep the fireball. Uh, that's my trivia fact for this spell. Uh, more elephants. Boo. Uh, my fireball isn't doing a lot to these guys for some reason. Um, that's alright, sticky flame will take care of it. Yeah, whatever, whatever fireball can't handle, sticky flame will be in charge of, pretty much. Excellent. I didn't notice that fireball, the F ball in my little bar thing, my little buff bar, was that was quite as uh, lustrous, I guess, of a color. It's pretty weird. Looks kind of odd. I'm used to seeing a really muted pink. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna stop tr uh, enchanting this axe. Maybe because if I find a nice whip or something, I'll, I'll put a couple of points in. Who knows? Uh, for the meantime, though. I think the axe is good enough for, as a non-training weapon. 
I don't need an, I don't need to put any more into it. It serves its purpose as a uh, one-off, like hit him once maybe, and then if it doesn't work, that's fine. Like it's not supposed to be my primary killing tool in the slightest, even though I do use it a lot. Like just then, I killed that <clears throat> blink frog, and that's mostly the uh, enchantment bonus that I put on it. That's that doing work, which is nice. Uh, if I do find like a wand of fire or conjurations, uh, I will be using that instead. Or wizardry. Wizardry will be all, also be nice because you know, ogres not very great at casting, uh, mostly because their enchantment, sorry, their aptitudes is so poor. So it's kind of hard for them to, you know, get a lot of spells up from different schools. So you know, you got to try sometimes to get as much spell pa uh, spell failure as you spell failure reduction as you can. Oh, I butchered that one. All right, cool. Uh, so we've been playing for 56 minutes. That means we've been playing for about 19, which is all right. So that means that I probably have enough time to play with the late dungeon, which is good. So I get a finish layer, do dungeon. <clears throat> Unless I want a shorter video, but I don't know. Um, so I did a bit of YouTube analytics just to like see. I didn't know that it was a thing, so I checked it out. Uh, apparently the average view time is like 13 minutes, which is really good. Um, means that people actually are watching quite a lot. But, you know, if if I do tailor... Okay, I'm in a bad spot here. I'm going to fear, and I'm going to move towards the staircase. And for some reason I don't get the staircase. Okay. Let's uh, teleport out. Not there, please. Uh, let's teleport out. Okay, I'm in dangerous situation. A dangerous situation. Okay, I'm gonna move away from the, where I knew the elephants were. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna try to move towards the staircase now. Even though I know the elephants are there, they probably would have dispersed by now. Uh, kind of, they have. There's, I think there were three, so I just killed two of the three pack that I found. I'm gonna make sure that there's an elephant between me and the spiny toad because it's faster than me. I'm still gonna walk backwards when I kite it, even though I know it's faster than me, because I don't want to fight it in melee range. There's no reason to. Uh, I'm gonna use sticky flame. I'm gonna try to keep the hydra between me and the snake again. Same thing. Uh, you just know you you have to know what move speeds are of each enemy. So the unless it's in water, the um, hey look at that, that was cool. Unless it's in water, a hydra moves at the same speed you do, so it's actually quite safe to have it in melee as long as you're moving away from it. Uh, but the snake, for example, would be able to stack poison on me every turn and and move with me as well, so, you know, I didn't want that. So I let the 10 speed... Is that the Mithril Axe Argo? Well, looks like I'm doing axes then, eh? I guess so. Uh, this, ca this thing swings at 1.1 speed. For a plus 8 axe, that's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, I'll be using this then. Interestingly enough, the Arga is like considered one of the good, uh, one of the best two ha uh, one-hander in the game, mostly because it's a speed and a pretty strong base weapon. Not the best base weapon, but fairly strong. Yeah, so these Death Yaks are gonna die to my Sticky Flame. I'm just not gonna let them hit me very often. Just gonna keep applying the uh, Sticky Flame on them, and they'll die. Uh, I actually have half a mind to train a little bit of axes now, just because it's really awesome. Uh, unlike the Sword of Power, I can actually get this weapon running up and running reasonably quickly. Mostly because it's already speed, it's going to be hitting at 0.7 delay or so, even like now. Uh, even with like maybe 5 levels of training, so it's cheaper. Whereas the Great Sword of Power, I need about 20 to get it to minimum delay. I when it can't train when it can't swing any faster. Yeah, so it looks like I'm taking a lot of damage here, but you know, it's pretty safe. Except when I run into packs like this behind me, which kind of suck. Uh, I can't shoot at the enemies behind me, so I'm just going to Sticky Flame keep running backwards. Make sure the Sticky Flame is reapplied. Okay, Fireball a couple of times, maybe. Uh, I should use Delayed Fireball, but, you know, it's kind of a hassle. I'll do it. Ah, that was great. It, it's not actually that strong, it's just another Fireball. Uh, the only good thing about it is, of course, the fact that it comes for free, and that's why I do it. So I've had to kite up two stairs now. It's probably because I don't have a lot of defense. Uh, it's mostly just my health tanking, and that kind of sucks. But it's okay. It's no big deal. Uh, I'm perfectly happy to do this kind of stuff if it means that I win. Obviously, I'm not. Again, I'm not crazy optimal. 
Wow, that's insane. So I've been training I've been training fighting offhand for a little while. And I've actually just gotten fifteen fighting, like straight up. I've got almost two hundred HP now. Uh I guess I don't need dodging for now, I guess. Uh I don't know. Uh, ogres I haven't played an Ogre Mage, really. I played Ogre Hybrids before. Not a full Ogre Mage though. Um I believe I accidentally got to vaults with one. Like when I say accidentally, I mean I played online. I accidentally picked Ogre Fire Elementalist instead of something else, and then um, you know, because you don't want to lose your win rate in online, you, you you go for every game. You never quit a game. Oh, well, you can, but I like to have my win rate nice and high. So I had to go. Uh, it didn't work out too well for me. I ended up dying in vaults, something, and mostly because my own stupidity. But oh well, you know. I guess the dagger of draining can go. I, I don't really need it, to be honest. I don't. I don't particularly care for that. Ooh, a ring of an uh, amulet of regeneration. That's great. With my high health, this would be pretty good because now my defense is kind of like self-sustaining. I suppose I can just keep kiting backwards and regenerating, which is nice. I'm not sure how the regeneration formula works, but I remember that resting gives me a percentage of my base. It's based on my max health. If regen works the same way, which I'm not saying it is, I don't know. If it does, then I'm regening quite a lot. Uh, I'm regening about 1 HP per second, uh, per turn, so that's not too terrible. Uh, it's about half of the, it's about half of the Vine Stalker. I think. Uh, roughly half to a third. Yeah, I'm just kiting these guys. Sticky Flame is doing all the work. I just need to, you know, be aware that I need to walk backwards sometimes. Can I even fight these guys with this Mithril Axe? Kind of. I take a lot of damage. That's not worth it then. So yeah, without, without my cool uh, mutations and stuff, I would have about maybe 20 less health and 2 less dodge, so I guess I can consider this guy pretty lucky. Uh, in the early game, I don't really see these this many good stuff, this much good stuff, uh, this often. So yeah, thank my stars, I guess, because you know, obviously, I was trying to not lose this character, and I didn't yet, which is pretty awesome. Um, I've also got, apart from the recordings, you know, actually, something that's interesting to note is that once I started recording. I really couldn't be bothered playing anymore, uh, not when not recording. Like I've done a couple of casual runs. I think online I have a deep dwarf fighter that's a, got a couple of runes. No, oh wait, no, he's getting his first rune soon. And I also have uh, a minotaur berserker. I started like 30 minutes ago while on the train, and he's about to get his first rune. So you know, like apart from those casual games, I don't really play as much now. Which is kind of sad, but you know, at the same time, this is a bit more fun to be playing this way. I guess you could say that, you know, it's not worth playing unless I'm recording. Uh, yeah. I, I just feel really, it feels kind of weird to like play and then not talk now. I don't know why that's the case, but it is for me. Let's see what this is. Stuff cold. I don't even want that. Thank you. Uh, I don't want the axe anymore, so I'll just uh, use the mithril. One. Nothing in this fault worth noting. The boots could have been cool, but you know, ogres can't wear shoes. Which is sad. It means I can't run. Can't use my running boots, or flying boots, boots even. That's pretty sad. Alright, so, Lair is finished. It's been about, maybe, uh, 23 minutes. So, I think I can complete the rest of the dungeon. Maybe. It might be a long video. Uh, sorry about that. Iron shot in my get that in me. Memorize it. Go. So iron shot is like the rich man's stone arrow, but the poor man's Lehudib's crystal spear. It. I personally prefer it over the crystal spear. Though. Um, it's an irresistible armor-based uh, spell that just hits you with a lump of iron. It's pretty sick. Uh, it does a lot of damage. Stuff of energy. That's pretty good actually. Uh, that makes all my spells hungerless, which means I can just start spamming stuff. I actually, that's actually really good. I'm going to turn fighting off. I'm going to turn uh, earth magic up. And I'm going to turn fire magic off and put summon to dodging. So what I've done is I have enough health now 
for a little while I'm just going to be focusing more on my magic and maybe get my secondary style of defense up which is you know mainly my dodging I just want those up I got marked I saw a lot of stuff get polluted so I decided to back off uh, yeah because it means the floor is really okay I still don't have a way to deal with this Um, maybe I can... Oh, I set it on fire. Okay, good. Okay, I just randomly, like, pressed the button to, like, see if I could set it on fire. And I did, so, awesome. Uh, I forgot to have the delayed fireball up, which was a little silly, but, you know, I don't really use it. I should use it, but I sometimes forget. Like, honestly, you forget it's there until you need it. In fact, you forget that you even own the spell, because it's just it doesn't have that much of an impact on your spell list. It takes two spell levels. If you have Fireball, which most Fire Elementalists should have, until like the very, very late game. I don't think I need this Ring of Poison Resistance anymore, do I? Nah. I'll just keep the Cloak. Uh, so yeah, the Hummet's um, Extendy thing for your magic is really sick. Here. Uh, where... What's Iron Shot? Oh man, okay. So I just used Iron Shot there on the red ugly thing. Reason being it's resistant to my fire. In hindsight, I probably could have poisoned it with the uh, blowgun. But you know, I'm not really thinking too straight. Oh, that could be dangerous. I'm gonna shoot some fireballs their way. Just hopefully get a bunch. Okay, I took about 90 damage. Uh, I'm gonna teleport away. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Okay, that Tengu was hurting like hell. I don't know why he was doing that much damage, but he did. Ouch. Uh, Book of Envenomations that I just passed over casually. I don't really need it. I'm gonna actually wear the Ring of Fire. I think he's gonna keep hitting me with that fire thing, uh, fireball. So, you know, I wanna keep the fire up, the fire resistance up. I'm going to switch to my blowgun, I'm going to shoot Carrera at the red thing, and just like that, works like charm. I'm going to keep stacking it on, and I'll eventually kill him. Great. No worries. So yeah, Carrera is great, it does the same thing that Sticky Flame kind of does, it stacks damage on them, and then you can walk backwards. Uh, same with this little... Okay, well, I know what vault this is now, this is the Hourglass Vault, there's so many tough enemies in here, I'm surprised I didn't die. The Tengu Reaver was a little bit out of depth. Not too much, but a little bit. There's a lot of gold here. That's nice. I don't really need it, but, you know, I didn't really pay too much for it. I almost died, but, yeah, that doesn't count. Whoa, I picked up, like, almost 900 gold. How useful. Yeah, gold's not that useful in this game. Not not now, at least. Because um, Orcish is going to give you that much. You don't really need to worry about it. This uh, axe will be able to kill anything that I can't, hopefully. Oddly enough, I forgot that I even had the stuff of energy, which is funny. <laughs> I mean, I just talked about it, and then I forgot about it very promptly. Let's, uh, let's put that down to B, so I can kind of hot swap between the two. Uh, let's try this ring on. A plus six ring of protection. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay, that's even that's worth even more than my other stuff, like to be honest. That's actually worth more to me than Okay, what I'm gonna try to do is get in the corridor. And then yeah, so what I did was I backed myself into a corner so that the only available spots that it could hit me from were there were there were three compared to the regular eight. And then I sticky flamed in different directions to see where he was. Uh sticky flame reveals invisible enemies, which is kinda cool. Pretty neat. Uh, oh, another staff. Let's see what that is. Staff of air. Nah. No thanks. Don't really cast air spells. Especially because I'm casting earth spells. Uh, oh wait, no. They removed anti-training in uh, some version ago. Back in the day... Uh, oh, that, that cloak actually makes me want to get that. But nah, I better not. I want the poison resist resistance. Probably. Arc Corrosion is good, but I don't need it right now. Interesting, a model dragon. If I can get its hide, that'd be really nice. I couldn't this time. Fair enough. 
Uh, I just kind of fireballed without really paying attention as to what was happening. Hopefully I can get a nice fireball here. There we go. Four. Didn't do a lot of damage, but... Oh well. It's not always going to do a lot of damage. Fireball has a weird tendency to do nothing sometimes. It's kind of sad. But, you know, other times... It's, it's fairly consistent with the damage. Just... Sometimes it just does nothing. For no reason. Uh, yep, Sticky Flame. So Sticky Flame and Fireball have still carried me through this game. I think, honestly, it'll give me a room or two before I have to start switching to Iron Shot more. But, you know, getting Iron Shot up is not too bad. It's still good. Just Sticky Flaming, Sticky Flaming. I don't think this guy can be Sticky Flame, can he? No, he can. Okay, never mind. So those Gargoyles are just... I think they're the Enchanter's worst nightmare. They can see invisible, high MR, can't be put to sleep. They just suck. For enchanters, but for this guy, he, they do okay. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot fireballs at him. I can't sticky flame him, which sucks. Uh, Manticores can't open doors, so I just, you know, forced him to stand in front of the doorway. And then I waited until I was in full health before I engaged him again. Protection from cold, that's nice. I'm gonna keep that. Uh, at this point, I think the attributes can go. Um, enslavement can go. Uh, protection. Flail can go. There's not really any enchantments that I want anymore, but I'll just keep them on me in case I want to find something good. In case the game decides that, you know, I deserve something. I probably don't. This this game has been blessing me with luck. Pretty much all my resistances, sorry, all my weaknesses as an ogre, as an ogre have been covered, which is really great. I have AC now, I have some reasonable resistances. I have dodging from my own training. I have a lot of fighting from my stuff. Yeah, this guy's pretty solid. Uh, hope my voice isn't too monotone. I'm a bit tired. Again, I, I just finished my exam, so... Ooh, okay, so this sword is being a jerk. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the summon beasts thing. I'm going to hopefully not die to this thing. Uh, let's... Let's blink away. And we can. Oh, okay. Run. So, this enchanted longsword, is it immune? It's very resistant to my stuff. So, I'm actually going to use Iron Shot on it. Yeah, and it kills in one hit. I wasn't really paying attention to it, and that's why it killed me. It almost killed me, because, you know, you don't pay attention and you die. That's the rule of this game, pretty much. Um, that was silly of me. I tried to. I thought that I could take it on. I couldn't, clearly. I can't see invis, which sucks, but fireball's AoE, so I can just keep shooting it into this area and hoping that I hit something, which I will. I vaguely know where they are, so fireball still does okay against them. Even if they're off screen, I think I can still kill them. Though crawl devs don't really like off screen kills. They removed a lot of stuff to do with off screen stuff. Like, uh, off screen cloud kills are pretty rare now because clouds time out within like two turns of you seeing them. Uh, you you leaving their radius line of sight thing. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling. Uh, again, I want to... Nope. I'm looking for model dragon armor because it's going to give me enough resistances. Oh, sorry, it's going to give me enough armor that I can just, you know, pretend I'm not squishy. Am I still recording? I hope I am. I really hope I am. I am! Yay! Wow, this is a fairly large recording. Um... I may have screwed this up with the time. Oh well, I'll just run with it. Hopefully I won't die. Yak tours already. Kinda sucks. Yeah, with with almost 200 health, I, I'm, I'm kind of comfortable. Not, not really comfortable, but a little bit more comfortable than usual to, you know, take on enemies in melee that I would normally not on a mage. Because, you know, with, with 200 health, you have a little bit of a leeway. Not a lot, but quite a lot more than a squishy deep elf, deep elf with, like, 50 HP. Uh, at this point, I think the scrolls of lignification can go. Uh, I want to see what this jewel shield is. It's minus telly. Don't want it. I didn't look at the... I know it has in plus 4, RF, plus 7. I don't care. It's got minus telly. I don't want it. And I think that's kind of... Uh, a good way, I guess, to see artifacts. Like, you can see all this great stuff on it, but if it has one thing that sucks, 
don't try to build your character around it. Just don't use it. Be consistent. Be someone who, you know, doesn't have to do this cheesy stuff to win. Just, just win with your character. It's, it's no worries. Don't need it. Like, it doesn't really improve my chance of surviving that shield. I could just get a regular shield. It would do the same thing, but it lets me teleport. That's pretty good. I mean, I like teleporting. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I've already used it, like, what, five, six times now? This game alone? I've used it a lot more today already. Uh, there was this Deep Dwarf that I was playing, and he played McCleb, and every single summon he summoned, every time he summoned something, it was a demon. I was not happy about that. Actually, it wasn't me playing, but... Ah, well, whatever. Close enough. I was watching it. There was a lot of teleports going on. And I mean a lot. Like, almost every floor there was like three teleports. It's pretty insane. Uh, I know the game with Hillock, uh, with the Hillock, where I played McCleb, I pretty much got like no bad luck. I got no really scary enemies, and the second I did get a scary enemy, I pretty much just teleported away and I didn't even mention it. Mostly because it seems like the default reaction now. It's just instinctual. I don't really think about it. So yeah, this uh, this this is almost wrapping up, which is good. Uh, I think Vahumit gave me Bolt of Fire. Whoa, Bolt of Fire! Thank you. Uh, where can I put Iron Shot? Let's put it on F. Let's put Conjure Flame. Yeah, Conjure Flame on B sounds alright. Uh, this guy can get Sticky Flamed, I guess. Not really. Okay, wow, that hurt. He got a lot of good hits on me. I'm just gonna keep Sticky Flaming him. Hopefully, he dies eventually. He's doing a lot of damage to me, like almost 30 per hit. That's kind of scary. Thankfully, though, you know, kiting works forever. So yeah, Bolt of Fire is a really great game uh, thing. I can pretty much win with this, with this, just this every every spell in here, and then haste I can win with, uh, pretty much by myself. Like I don't really need any more spells. So yay, that's good. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't really know what to say about that. That's really good I guess it's very good it's very good for me um, I don't think I need anything oops I got myself in a bad spot what can I do here I think the only choice is to teleport I can't kill these guys quick enough yep okay I'm in a bit of a scary place let's uh, wield blowgun shoot some career at it just keep doing it and then shoot a bolt of fire his way. So the bolt of fire is doing some decent damage. It's not high spell power yet, so it's not doing as much as it could, but you know, it's still okay. It's still doing some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna sticky flame that just so I can end his life. His unlife. Just gonna start conjuring that flame. Oh, sticky flaming. Setting him on fire. Uh, I don't know where this guy is. I'm gonna try to get into a corner again. Uh, I'm just gonna. So it's somewhere down there, I think. Oh man, this is pretty tough. Don't know where it is. Whatever. I don't really have a way to reveal it, so eh. I could fog. Oh, do I even have fog? No, I don't. Yeah, it wasn't even worth fogging for anyway. Just one enemy. And at this point I have so much health that I could just sit there and tank it for like 50 turns. I run out of mana more than I run out of uh, energy. Sorry, out of health. Which is kind of sad. Alright, so this floor has been done. I am going to now take a break. I'm pretty tired. Uh, and I'll play again next time. I'm going to go back to lair just because why not. And I'll see you guys next time.